Hey guys, today I'll be sharing with you how to convert these flashcards from PLTW. Um, this is unit two, so activity 2.11, the first activity called Building a Medical History. This is a PLTW activity. I don't own any of this. This is provided by PLTW and I'm just um, converting this into Google Slides since I don't allow my students to access the website for the reason that I don't want them to move on ahead before we have um, covered uh, specific topics as a class. I learned this really neat way to make flashcards work in Google Slides. It is a little bit tedious, but just looking at how it looks and how it works, I feel like it's um, it really pays off. and. I have already spent the time making these, so I'll be sharing these with you guys. The link is going to be in the description box of this video, so y'all have access. This is just showing you how I made this, so you can use this technique to make other activities in the future if you want. So I'm going to put this in presentation mode. This only works if you are in presentation mode, and there are several layers that go into um, the setup of these slides. I used a function called the snipping tool that I believe all laptops should have. I found mine by clicking on the Windows key. And then once I click on that, like there's this um, like these settings that pop up and I just type, not into anything in particular, I just start typing on my keyboard, S-N-I-P. And then I see that the best match is a snipping tool. So I click enter and that's what shows up here. So I'm gonna click on a new snip. Which cursor has now become this snipping tool where you're gonna press down, click to press down and um, arrange and then just drag over the area that you want to snip or take a screenshot of. And this only takes a screenshot of that specific area. You're going to click Control C to copy and then Control V to... And that's pretty much how I moved all of those cards individually by taking these mini screenshots into Google Slides. So here is one. Here are all my other ones. I'm actually going to delete this one since I already have one right here. The thing I need now is the definition. So I can actually show you how I'm going to make the definitions. Doing the same thing, I'm just going to take a screenshot. All right, now I'm going to show you the layers that have to be placed on the slide before you can link the cards to the other slides with their respective definitions. So first, you need to create a text box. That text box, I'm going to delete this one so I can show you how to create one. I'm going to click on the text box. You're going to make sure it covers the entire slide. Once it's created, you have the option to type in it, but that's not what we're using the text box for. We are actually using it to insert a link. The link that we're inserting is the same exact link to the slide. So this is slide one, we're going to insert a link to slide one and apply. The reason for this is that, so when this is in presentation mode, students cannot click randomly and expect to be taken to the other page. And you'll notice here that now that I'm clicking on these cards, they're not showing up. So we have to do a little bit of formatting here, but before we do that, I also want to point out that the arrows I added are not showing up. So I'm going to move this text box. You can see the outline of that text box. I'm going to bring these forward to the front. So they are going to be on top of the text box. And I'll put them back. So now, now that these are brought to the front, when I click on them, they're showing up. And they're showing up here, showing me the slides that they will lead to. I know that if I put this in presentation mode, I can click on these and expect to be taken to that slide. The bottom cards here are still not clickable. They're not linked to any slide. So I'm going to have to move this text box just slightly up and highlight all of these. Just for ease of not having to do these one by one, I'll just highlight them all at once and bring them all to the front. So now, I'm just going to click. I just click in the general direction or the general space where I know the text box is, and then it will show up and I can bring it back. So here's your text box. 
So link to the slide, here are your arrows to the previous and to the last slide. Here are your clickable um, cards or pictures, or this can apply to anything. It can be another text box that you want to add on top. So since these are now clickable, these can be attached to other slides. So I'll show you how that works. You are going to click on the card, insert a link. This is going to be attached to slide two because you can also see here, slide two is going to show this card flipped over. So when I'm in presentation mode, when I click on this card, it's gonna take me to slide two. That's what this means when you click on it and it shows you the slide that is attached. For the medical assistant, I'm gonna insert a link to slide three, apply. For the non-physician practitioner, I'm gonna insert a link to slide four, apply. Well, actually wait. The non-physician practitioner is slide five. That was my mistake because I didn't order these properly. Um, this non-physician practitioner is, yeah, I'm gonna unlink that and I can link it here. I don't know how to link it here. So I'm gonna click insert and link to slide five. And the nurse is linked to slide four because I'm too lazy to reorganize those two cards. Here you have the other specialist, that is slide six. Link to slide six, apply. Patient license, I think the rest are in order, so this would be slide seven. This would be slide eight. This would be slide nine. Apply. This would be slide 10. Insert. All right, so here are my slides. All of these are linked. So when I put this in presentation mode, this arrow is not going to work because there is no previous slide. This is slide number one, but this arrow will take me to the last slide. So whichever slide I had linked, and I'm just going to go back here since I don't have a link on this slide to take me directly back here. I'm going to present this again. So you can see that if I click on medical student, it's going to show me that card. Or the rest of these cards are not linked. And also, like you can see that as I'm clicking, it's showing me the point cursor which means the arrow cursor, which means that I'm literally just clicking through the slides in the order that they are on this um, slide column. It's because I did not add the text box. So that's why the text box is important. It prevents students from just clicking through everything very quickly. And that would translate the um, arrows and the text box, and I guess the first piece of instruction to the other slide. So these are the two arrows. And actually, I want to add a piece of instruction here. So only click this arrow once you are done looking at all the flashcards. Exclamation. Okay, I'm gonna just make the font a little bit smaller, but I'm gonna highlight it so students can see it. So this arrow is gonna be a part of what I want students to um, click on. I'm gonna just copy that here. So now I'm gonna highlight everything here. So that includes this little piece of instruction because I'm gonna copy and paste it to all of my slides since these slides don't have arrows or the text box that prevents students from clicking around. So paste that. Here you can see this arrow for the previous slide, for the last slide, and I'm just gonna go down all of these slides. Oops. I'm gonna make sure to click away before I move on to another slide. All right, now I am going to have to adjust the text box. Just move the text box away so that I can highlight all these cards yet again and let's see. bring them to the front. Where's my order? Bring to front. Okay, and then I'm gonna move this back. These arrows are fine now. All of these cards have been brought to the front. Okay. Um, to make this very flashcard-like, so that when students click on the first medical student card, they are taken to this slide. When they click again, and you want to bring them to, and you want the card to seem like it flipped over again, you're gonna have to bring them back to the main slide. So I'm gonna attach another link to link this card to slide one, and I'm gonna apply that. So now, when students click on this first card, they're brought to slide two. When they click on it again, they're brought back to slide one. So it looks like they flipped back the card. Now for the rest of these, these are not attached to anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move away this text box so that when I'm working with all these pieces, I'm not messing um, up the order of the text box. I'm going to highlight all of these and delete them. That way I can move the text box here as well. I'm going to highlight these, copy them, not delete these, and then paste them here. And then I'm going to move this down and we'll see if the text box... Okay, so now all of these, the top row has been linked to all of these other slides. So we have the bottom part to do now. The bottom part here. Let's check to see where my text box is. Okay, so the text box is up here. I don't want to carry around that text box everywhere, so that's why I move it away when I want to work on the slide. I'm going to copy the bottom row, come over here. Where's my text box? Okay, this one is up here. It's fine. I'm going to, I can delete it or just like copy over it or paste over it. I just paste it over it. And now I'm going to move this back so that all of these cards are now attached to another card. 
so that when students are on this page, they can click on nurse and they'll be taken to slide four, which looks like this. So let me go back here and put this text box back where it belongs. This second slide is now done. The third slide, you can see this text box is covering everything. I need to move it away. And then bring all of these to the front. There's a better way to do this, but I don't want to complicate it. So uh, just keep the text box away for now since I'm working with these pieces. I'm gonna highlight these two. And then copy, paste them here. So now these are attached. This one is going to be linked to the first slide again. That way, if students click again, they'll be brought to the first slide where they see this slide, where they see this card flipped over. As for the rest of these, I am just going to, I can delete these or I can go and make a copy from the first slide, which is what I'm gonna do because that is easier. I'm gonna copy these. All of these that have the slides attached, go back to slide three, paste, ta-da. Now all of these have the slides attached. I'm gonna click on my text box, bring it back. The arrows are still working, it's great. Now all of these are attached to the other slides. So you can see how this is a little bit tedious, right? All right, so this is what it looks like when it is completed. It's very tedious. Uh, I'm going to show you how it looks in presentation mode. Okay, so I'll just move that. And let's go to slide one. Oops. Okay, so now if I click randomly, I'm not going to be taken to the next slide. This is the main page. And the first arrow, this one's not going to work because this is the first page. If I click on this one, it's going to take me directly to the last page as before. I'm going to bring myself up here so I didn't have an arrow, so have an arrow bringing me back here. So now I'm going to show you what the cards look like. All these cards should be linked directly to each other. I can click on this one once. It's taking me to like slide number four. I click on it again. It's taking me back to slide one. If I click on nurse, it's taking me to, I think, like slide three and then if i click again it's taking me back to slide one i can also click on pediatrician i'm on slide 10 and then i can choose to go to medical assistant and pediatrician will have been flipped over this is slide three. Oh, so i messed up on these two um yeah so now it actually looks like these are flashcards and you can see on the side all the page numbers that are attached i'm gonna take this away i'm gonna like just delete this text box down here but this is essentially what it would look like as flashcards in Google Slides. So isn't this pretty cool? It's like all attached to each other, all linked to each other. You can click again to flip it, to flip it back on another one. I hope that this was helpful. Let me know if you try this out. This would work for any flashcard deck, for any sort of vocabulary practice, for any subject. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If this was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also leave a comment. Um, they really mean a lot to me when um, I can I see that these are useful to others. And also let me know if you have any other suggestions, if you want to see me make other types of tutorials.